What's up guys, Tech Notice here, and here we have the iPhone 6 running iOS 11. So I'm going to show you guys Control Center and how it works with pre-iPhone 6s devices. So these are devices that do not have 3D Touch built in. Now we're going to pull up from the bottom, and here we're presented with the new panel. So this is fully customizable, and I'll show you guys here in a second how it works. But first of all, we have music to the right side, and all your toggles to the left, and at the bottom of that you have your brightness and volume switcher and right under that we have new toggles for camera for flashlight and a couple other things now we're gonna start with the toggles right here so as I've mentioned earlier devices that do not have 3d touch now we're gonna be given sort of a 3d feel touch effect to it but not the full experience what we're gonna be doing is just holding our finger on it and a new panel pops up and here we have a bunch of new toggles so we can enable Bluetooth, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, personal hotspot, and airdrop. Again, this is fully customizable, so I'll show you guys in a few moments here. This can be done with the Apple, or with Apple Music as well. And you have your brightness toggles and volume as I mentioned. This is the cooler thing we have right here, which is the new flashlight. So if you hold on to it, you have now four adjustable dimming settings to it. So here you have low medium, a little bit higher than that, and maximum. So there you guys can see that now everything is adjustable. And that's a nice addition. Uh, we have the timer right here, which is really nice as well. You can set up all the way to two hours and down to one minute. You have your notes, which 3D hold does not do anything. And you have camera. If you hold on to it, you have take pictures and camera, which is quite redundant. I don't even know what that means. Take photo, camera, same thing. So what you're going to do to customize this is head into settings, scroll down to control center, and as you can see here, this is what it includes and these are more controls that you can add on top of it. So you get, I'll give you guys a closer look. It has accessibility shortcuts, alarm, Apple TV remote, calculator, and a couple neat ones right here. So the best one I'm probably going to say is screen recorder. I'm going to add that right now to show you guys. This is an awesome feature. Now with this setup, you're going to pull from the bottom. And you can see right at the bottom here, now you have two additional icons. So here, uh, this is the neat one. If you hit this button right here, everything is going to be recorded. Every action you're going to do on the screen is recorded right now. So I'm going to move around a little bit. Swipe back and forth on the home screen. And as you can see right at the top in the blue bar right there, it says recording and 15 seconds in. Now we're going to hit stop, and now another notification pops up, and it says screen recording saved to photos. Let's head inside photos and see if it's there. And there you go, sitting right there. Now this doesn't record any audio or anything like that. It mainly just records what's happening on the screen. Okay, and we're going to head back out, and let's see what else we can customize. So you can't really customize anything in here. Sorry for my mistake. I didn't know I was what I was saying. I'm still testing around the OS overall right now. Doesn't seem like you can customize anything other than the little apps at the bottom here. So these are just additional things that are going to be added. Everything else is going to be firm right there. So all these toggles right here, the music, rotation lock, and everything else. Some of you guys were mentioning, yes, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi toggles are not working right now, or they're sort of working intermittently. Tapping on them kind of just turns them back on and off. So it says not connected, but when you're actually inside the settings app, you can see that they are connected and it is on. There you go. And this is just one of the many bugs that comes with the first build of iOS 11. So I hope you guys like this video. If you guys want more, uh, do hit the subscribe and like button. And I do have quite a bit more iOS 11 videos in my playlist. So definitely check that out. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys.